The next thing I'm going to do is show you how to configure Smart Connect Zones. Smart Connect Zones control access to the cluster by using virtual host names as opposed to IP addresses. I'll begin by giving you an overview of how Smart Connect Zones work and then we'll go in and we will actually configure a Smart Connect Zone to access the cluster. The first thing that you want to be aware of when you configure Smart Connect Zones is that you will need an SSIP a Smart Connect Service IP. This IP address is always an IP address that is within the subnet that you're working with, but it is never assigned to any node in the subnet. So in our case, our SSIP will be 192.168.88.1. This will be the IP address that will be used in order to resolve the host names that we are going to assign to the cluster. In this example, the host name we are going to use is smb.test.net. For example, user1 wants to access the cluster using the name smb.test.net. The name resolution request is forwarded to the DNS server. The DNS server, in turn, forwards the name resolution requests to the Isilon cluster. The Smart Connect service running on the Isilon cluster returns an IP address to the DNS server which then forwards that address to the client. The client then connects to the node with the IP address returned by the DNS server. That IP address is determined by the particular connection policies that you configure in the environment. And there are four policies that you can configure to control connections to the cluster. Round robin, connection count, network throughput, and CPU usage. The connection balancing policies, round robin, connection count, network throughput, and CPU usage determines which particular node will receive the client request. Round robin distributes connections sequentially across all nodes in the cluster. That's the default. Connection count examines the number of existing connections on each node and distributes to nodes with fewer connections. Network throughput evaluates the network throughput per node and distributes connections to balance the throughput consumption. And CPU usage examines CPU load on each node and distributes connections to balance the CPU workload. Now I'll log into the cluster and configure the Smart Connect Zone. Here you see we have three nodes in this cluster, node 1, node 2, and node 3. The IP address for node 1 ends with a dot 10, node 2 ends with dot 11, and node 3 ends with dot 12. Now we can access any node in the cluster simply by typing in the IP address. Here I've typed in 192.168.88.10, but I can also access the cluster through node 2 or node 3 by typing in their IP addresses. Here the IP address is 11 for node 2, and here the IP address is 12 for node 3. So I will just log into node 3 here as root. And you can see cluster access can be gained from any node in the cluster. I go to cluster management, network configuration, and from here we can configure our Smart Connect Zones. So I go to Subnet. I click on the Subnet, Subnet 0. I select Edit. And now I want to put in my Smart Connect Service IP. 192.168.88.1 And again, the Smart Connect Service IP is an IP address from the Subnet but it is never applied to any node in the subnet. The Smart Connect Service IP is always done at the subnet level. There will be one SSIP for each subnet in your environment. Next, we want to define our Smart Connect Zone. I'll go to Smart Connect Settings, select Edit, and I'll supply a Smart Connect Zone name. We can select our connection policy, round robin, connection count, network throughput, or CPU usage. I'll leave this as the default, round robin, and select our Smart Connect Service Subnet. And select Submit. Next, we want to go to the DNS server. 
and configure a host record that points to our Smart Connect service on the cluster. So I will right click, select New Host, give it a name, I'll call it SIP for service IP, and I'll give it the IP address 192.168.88.1. And I'll add the host. Now I will need to create a delegation for smb.test.net. So I right click, select new delegation, and just configure the wizard. Then I will select the IP address for the name server, which in our case will be the Smart Connect service on the cluster. I can resolve it. and select OK. To test the settings, I will log into the cluster by name rather than by IP address. And now I can access the cluster using this virtual host name, smb.test.net. Now I'll open a command prompt and ping the cluster. Here you see it's pinging node 1. Dot 10 and now it's pinging node 3.12 and now it's pinging node 2.11 as you can see each successive connection to the cluster uses a different node for access I will also run NSLOOKUP to further illustrate the round robin connection balancing policy it cycles through the different nodes. And now I will configure a second Smart Connect Zone. And here I want to add a selection of IP addresses that will be used for this Smart Connect Zone. So I will select the Add a Pool. I will give it a name. I'll call it NFS. And I will set a low and a high IP address. So I will begin with 192.168.88.50 for a low IP and 192.168.88.60 for a high IP and select next. Zone name I will call this nfs.test.net and our connection policy, I will leave it at round robin. Our Smart Connect service subnet, I will select subnet 0. Now under our IP allocation method, I can select static or dynamic. Static IP allocation, this is best used for protocols such as SMB or NFS version 4. And the dynamic IP allocation method is best used for NFS version 3. With a dynamic allocation, each node can have more than one IP address. Our rebalance policy will be automatic failback, and our IP failover will be round robin. I will select next. And here I can add the particular nodes that I want to take part in this IP address pool. So I will select node 1, hold shift, node 3, and just right arrow and add these nodes to this particular IP address pool and select submit
and you see we have two pools NFS pool and pool zero now I will go back to my DNS server and I will configure another delegation and I will call this one NFS and select next now I will add my SIP IP and OK and next and finish I will go back to the cluster and as you can see each node now has multiple IP addresses and if I do an NS lookup for nfs.test.net you'll be able to see the IP addresses rotate again 50, 51, 52, 55, 54, 53, 56, 57 and that is configuring Smart Connect Zones using both the static IP allocation and dynamic IP allocation. And the last thing that we're going to look at here is configuring SMB shares and NFS exports.